Hello everyone, this is Gautam from Informatica. Today we are going to be looking at how to create and manage dashboards in CDGC. So the agenda for today's session would include an introduction to the dashboards, creating dashboards, how to add widgets to the dashboard, setting up a default dashboard in CDGC, and finally going through a demo to showcase all these behaviors. A dashboard is a customizable interface that gives you an overview of the key assets and activities in your organization. While using the data governance and catalog application, you have the option to search for all your technical and business assets through the search bar. But the dashboard can be created and customized to serve a very unique purpose to access and analyze assets. Multiple dashboards can be created based on the purpose that they serve. Within a dashboard, useful and customized widgets can be created to contribute towards the purpose or the ideology of behind the dashboard. This would help uh, users viewing the dashboard to gain particular and useful insights on the team of the dashboard. Dashboards can be used to display both business and technical data in your organization. Now, how to create a dashboard? In the Data Governance and Catalog app, catalog app from the home page, dashboards can be created using the new dashboard option. And in, once you select the new dashboard, in the dialog box, enter the name and description of the dashboard, and you do have an option to set this as the default dashboard of the organization. Once a dashboard is created, it is created as an empty template. So this dashboard would need to be populated with widgets to add or display necessary data governance activities or statistics. In the new dashboard, you can select the Actions button and select the option New Widget to create a widget. There are various widget types available in CDGC as shown in the image here. You can select the widget type that you want to create and then add properties to the widget to create the widget. You can edit delete or clone existing dashboards as well using these say, options that are listed in the actions button. Now, whenever a user logs in to CDGC, there would be a default dashboard displayed to the user. Based on the role of the user, a default dashboard can be set up. So, to set up a default dashboard, a user role which has super admin privileges needs to be used. Once this logging in to CDGC with this particular user account with super admin privilege, you can set a dashboard as default for all users or for specific user roles in your organization. On the dashboard that you want to set as default, Click the action menu icon and select default dashboard for users to assign the dashboard to the user roles of your organizations. Now, while assigning the default dashboard, there are three options available. The first option would be for all users. Here, this dashboard that you are particularly selecting and setting as the default dashboard would be displayed as the default dashboard for all users in your organization. The second option would be to set the default dashboard for specific roles. So again, a particular dashboard can be set as a default dashboard for one or more user roles. Finally, you could remove any default dashboard that was set for users and roles and have one, as the, have one dashboard as the default for the entire organization. Now, 
order of precedence of default dashboards are as follows. When a particular dashboard has been set for a user, that dashboard takes precedence over the dashboard set for a role assigned to the user, which in turn takes precedence over the dashboard set as default for the organization. Now let's have a quick demo on how to create and manage dashboards in CDGC. So when you log into CDGC, you would be seeing a default dashboard that has been set by the organization. Now, here, first let's go through how to create a new dashboard. In the options on the right side, you have the option to create a new dashboard or clone this dashboard. For instance, if a particular dashboard has a lot of widgets that are favorable for your particular dashboard that you're creating, you could just simply clone the dashboard and modify any widgets that you do not want or do want to edit. So for the purpose of the demo, I'm going to show a new dashboard here. Here I'm going to enter a dashboard. provide a description for the dashboard and I'm going to create the dashboard here so as I mentioned once the dashboard is created it's going to create an empty template where you would need to add widgets to populate the dashboard and display favorable information so you can either add the new widget from here or on the actions button and add a new widget. So there are various types of widgets here. Uh, you could, when you create a widget, you'd be able, each particular widget would have a property and you should be able to provide them and create a widget on the same. Now, you could delete the dashboard after coming to this particular dashboard and uh, deleting it edit the dashboard and at any point in time and then modify the widgets on this one rearrange the widgets now I'm going to show you how to set the default dashboard for users so when you select the default dashboard for users this menu pops up showing the options that are available to you as uh, for setting the default dashboard as the demo dashboard here that we have created now when you select for all users option this particular demo dashboard would be shared for all users in the organization as the default dashboard so whenever any user logs in from this particular organization this would be set as the default dashboard and you have the for specific roles option where you'll have the option to create assign the default dashboard to a particular role so any users under that particular uh, who are assigned with that particular role would be having this particular demo dashboard as their default dashboard now so when you select this particular option this is going to remove any dashboard that you had earlier set as default for users or roles and going to select and going to use this as the default dashboard for everyone in the organization. To summarize the activities that were performed on the session today, we understood the purpose of dashboards, went through the steps to create and edit dashboards. We saw how to add a widget to the dashboard to display useful information in the dashboard. We also went through the ways to set up a default dashboard so that users or a role in an organization have a default dashboard when they log into CDGC. We then went through a demo to display or showcase dashboard management. Thank you for taking the time to view our session on dashboard management. We would, we would love to hear more from you. Please leave 
your feedback at supportvideos at informatica.com or drop us a tweet at twitter.com slash infrasupport. Thank you.